Here you see a model uh, with some defects and some different ways how to fix uh, a model uh, fracture. One of our main problems for most cell and tissue culture is that they are in static condition. You have the cells just in a dish, and this is not really representative of what is happening in the human spine, for example. And here we have um, uh, the first kind of bioreactor where we can culture under sterile conditions for several weeks, even for several weeks, um, a whole intervertebral disc. In this case, the intervertebral disc is extracted from a bovine table, and but the cells and the disc and is still everything is still alive and sterile. So it's like in a living animal or in a living human. So it's still the tissues are still from animal, but you do, you don't need uh, to actually operate or use an entire animal to test exactly. this. And since the animal is from the slaughterhouse, so we don't kill any animal just for research. Here we want to construct the tissue organ in vitro, so we can create an organ uh, in the lab, so we don't kill animals. However, you know, um, uh, to construct this, you need to really recapitulate this morphology because the organ is different than uh, just the cell culture on a plastic glass. You can see the machine that it gives the vibration. This is a sound frequency vibration, and then cause of fluid flow in it. This is the frequency and the amplitude. Now we have a pretty high frequency. And then here you can see from here that mm. the shape, a certain shape will be formed. And if you reduce the frequency, and then a different kind of shape can be, can be induced. So we can really form a, a structure. This is cells, are like, just like bricks. And then we use the bricks and stones to build a house. That's, that's the whole idea. Mm.